Good grooming. Good grooming is a, it's a normal thing. Uh, it's been taught to us by our parents, teachers in uh, high school, elementary. It is, you could say, common sense. Because, you know, it would be embarrassing if people would smell your bad odor or you had food stuck in your teeth. That would be really embarrassing, you know. So, good grooming. It does not only it does not only make you not an embarrassment. It also some it also has some advantages and some health advantages. You know how infections. If you properly clean your wounds, that would that would get, potentially stop any bacteria or viruses from entering your body. That is one advantage of good grooming. It also makes you look good and it also makes you smell good and if you look good and if you smell good then you have a good then people won't be people would like you better they would be attracted to you they would like to be close to you not like if you're a punch with rot okay daily basis Take a bath daily. Mr. Clean! Fire clean! Brush your teeth three times a day or at least twice. Use deodorant always. How to's How to cut your nails. Gather the nail cutter and the nail file. Trim your nails carefully and precisely. Use the nail file to grind down and shape the edges of your nails. How to clean your ears. First, get a Q-tip. Carefully clean the inner and outer part of the ear. Apply a small amount of baby or mineral oil directly into the ears. Place a cotton ball into the ear to keep the oil from dripping out. Remove the cotton ball and bend your head to allow the oil to drip. Use saline spray or water to flash out ear wax. As we have talked about yesterday, we talked about good grooming and its advantages. How it can give you a positive experience people how it can give you a positive outlook even if because some because you know you can't always you don't feel good when you don't when you're not good when you don't have good grooming you feel disgusting icky you can't do things properly that's why you need to always look you need to always have good you need to always be goodly groomed unless of course you want to have problems. If you're not goodly groomed, you look disgusting. Like this guy. Take this guy for example. Just look at him. Look at him. Look at his uniform. It's open. It's ah look, it's collar. It's not even fixed. See? And what is he wears an undershirt, but he does not tuck it in. Who who does that? And the bag. Do you want it to fall down? Do you? Then why do you put it on one strap, man? There, like that. <laughs> See? Doesn't he look better? Doesn't he look better? Isn't that fine? Look, put your buttons on. If someone is good to groom, they you can have confidence in your actions. You can, uh, you can take this man. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I already fixed him, so that's right. But look at him. The pinnacle of good grooming. Nice. His uniform, his undershirt is tucked in. His uniform is nice. Collar, good. Buttoned. Even has three ball pins. Like you. You have a handkerchief. What do you, do you use your handkerchief to write? No, you don't. Here, have a ball pin. Okay. As you can see, these two uh, have shown 
that good grooming is not only advantageous for yourself but also for others because you have a good and positive uh, picture to other people.